a grandfather, a mother, a daughter. This is a celebration of friends, old and young, and I mean young like new, <laughs> but also young. And a celebration of very important partnerships that were a part of Melinda being able to make her vision the impact she wanted in this world. It's a trilogy because it's three events. It starts tonight with a fashion show, which is going to be amazing. But it also has two other very important components. An art exhibition, because art should be something that everyone can see, can touch, should see and touch, because it celebrates creativity and it teaches you that you can be creative, especially when you see a child's doodles turn into the magnificence of Melinda's creations. There's also going to be an event which is firmly in Melinda's heart, which is to do with children. More on that to come a little later on. This is a very different and important show because for example, Belinda went all the way to throw up with Malaysia Airlines to actually work with traditional crafts people to bring evolution to traditional crafts, but also to keep and preserve that cultural tradition by meshing it with technology which is involved in the garments she has today. It's incredibly exciting. The third event will have 550 children walk away with a book and a seed planted in them that the future is theirs if they just invite the creativity and believe and trust in themselves. So, without further ado, I'd like to cue the videos so you know what I'm talking about. Thank you. 
to the world that we have amazing problems in Malaysia. A big part of working with local artisans is being able to meet them where they live and really see their work and work together with them. We source material from all over, especially from Sarawak, and fly to Kuchi, meeting all the artisans and then going to Uri and six hours off road to the Long House in Long Kawa. It meant a lot to me and also for Maya. To see what we are trying to do can hopefully help keep the local crafts alive. At Tanoki, we really, really are very grateful for designers like Melinda Lui because they add more depth to our work and more variety. Um, we actually get to explore so many new things when we work with Melinda Lui. Uh, so, uh, he used a lot of my jewelry <laughs> about my necklaces this and that. That's why he also support me for my winter. Bagi kaum perempuan tadi lompawa ini Uh, 
excited to show everyone how it's the outcome. I'm excited to see the end result and how it all will turn out at the end. Community. She is community ever since she was 11 years old. Um, it's so much more than fashion and uh, I really hope you see that message today. But let's hear it from her instead. So I would like to invite Miss Melinda Marie and her muse, her daughter, up on the stage to say a few words. I'm not that much like you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, thank you so much for coming here. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who believes uh, well, in me, uh, in this project, in what I'm trying to do. I believe that we always have to start from somewhere. Uh, even if this is probably not a big step for me already, because I've been doing quite a bit to try to help. but. Uh, during the past, especially the past few years, uh, it's been really tough and emotional for the creative industry. And because of that, it it's, has given me a lot of encouragement uh, to tell myself that I have to do something. And I keep saying that I'm not ashamed uh, to tell the press or anyone that this is my first solo couture show in Malaysia. But a couture on my own is the first time. And I want to thank all the sponsors, uh, supporters, friends who came together. I, I, I just speechless. Um, I, I, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say a big thank you. Um, I guess I wouldn't name all the brands, but Asha will probably do a better job. Um, and this is especially a very emotional uh, collection for me. Uh, not only because uh, it's, it's a celebration of togetherness. All the friends came together, the community, uh, my family, and a lot of other things. Uh, you know, I mean, my daughter, um, be inspired by her, and it's also a courage for me to, to be to, to be always thinking out of the box and do something different. And and because she always loved to help children, and so uh, I, I think it's this is the right time to also bring the charity for children that I used to do in the past. Uh, but the last three years, unfortunately, because of a lot of circumstances. Standards. We couldn't do this charity, but this is a perfect timing. We thought, uh, yeah, I, I think I shouldn't say more, but maybe you want to say something. I have nothing to say. <laughs> so yeah, again, I want to say thank you. Um, hopefully, um, uh, I, uh, I, it'll be fantastic. <laughs> We'll hear from you later on. I thought I shot you get stuff to stop me. <laughs> Would you like to write it down? Again, thank you <laughs> to everybody, especially people working behind the scene. <laughs> thank you. Maya, Linda, have a seat over there. We've been talking about great collaborations and partnerships, so I would like to invite a very important um, collaborator and partner up to say a few words. Um, please, from Malaysian Aviation Group, uh, please, this is C. Felicity, gosh, I'm stumbling over my words now. <laughs> um, who is the Group Chief Sustainability Officer to say a few words. I'm very sorry for being such a mess of everything I do. Thank you. Thank you. Can you hear me? Great. Belinda, congratulations on your first uh, contribution.
show show in Malaysia. And I have to say, there's no better way to be a first show in the with the family. I was uh, doing some research and I noticed that in your social media page, I love your page because you do a lot of cooking shows with your younger daughter, right? And it's so clear to me that family is embedded in the your work. It's so clear in also the programming that we're going to see in the next uh, month ahead. And for us in Malaysia English Group, we are very proud to say that when someone steps on board of their craft, we want people to feel at home. We want them to feel a part of the Malaysian family. And so we are so proud to be associated with you that we continue the thread of bringing the family always together in our work, in our business, and how we do things. Because when you think about the work and the production later, the familiar materials you see in Malaysia Education and how it's expertly weaved into your culture. I'm so excited to see what we have in store later. But how you involve your daughter, how you involve the communities in Sarawak, which is the Malaysian family, and how actually it's so important that we as a global family as well look after our planet. Because we you know, we really need to look after each other and stop thinking as an individual. It is only when we start looking out for each other and consider each other as members of the same family can we really make a difference. So I just want to say all of you, congratulations on your first virtual show. And I'm so proud that you have been made a family into the entire fabric of the show. Okay. Thank you, Jim. My favorite airlines. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Next up, I'd like to invite yet another collaborator and partner. Um, very, very special, very, very exciting things happening there, but uh, we'll find out a little bit more about that. But first up, please can I invite Christine Chan, Head of Marketing from Mattel Southeast Asia, better known as Barbie. To stay with you guys. Um, good afternoon, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I would like to, to take this opportunity to thank uh, Melinda Dewey for having us here today. Um, this marks our third year um, of collaboration with Melinda. We started off our journey back in 2020 when we celebrated Lila's birthday in conjunction with Barbie's birthday in March and followed um, by a challenging time when the world went under lockdown, Melinda Louis stepped up with fellow designers and put their time, sweat, hard work to supply PPEs to hospitals as there were major shortages. She reached out and through Mattel's Play Forward initiative, we were able to donate COVID-19 patients in Suhaibuno and Hospital and Hospital Kuala Lumpur. Melinda's passion, kindness, and also philanthropic activities are felt from the heart truly. 2022, in conjunction with Barbie's Dreamhouse 60th anniversary, we are here together again as Melinda has designed six one-of-a-kind Barbie-inspired fashion that will be exhibited on the runway today. Guests will also be able to see doll-sized version of these beautiful pieces over here. And uh, what's more meaningful behind it is that the creations are inspired by her daughter, Maya. Maya, congratulations. And um, it's wonderful to see Melinda instilling and encouraging creativity and self-expression in the next generation. As for Barbie, by providing purposeful play with over 200 careers, Barbie aims to take on aspirational and culturally relevant roles. The collaboration with Melinda Louis provides an avenue to show girls that they can be anything they want to be and to inspire the limitless potential in the younger generation in Malaysia while shining light to the local fashion scene and also raising awareness to the creative use of textiles. Last but not least, in support of Melinda's CSR initiative this year, toys will be given to the orphanages and PlayStation activities are jointly planned to encourage children creativity in Melinda's Charity for Children event that's happening in Book XL. 
success this month. Thank you again and congratulations Melinda and to many more collaborations to come. Thank you. Thank you to see. Would you like to have a seat next to you, Philip? My first heartbreak in life was when my brother broke my Barbie doll. Honestly, I still feel pain from it these days. I would now like to open the floor um, to the press to ask any questions you might have to Melinda or Philip or Christine about what's happening today and also over the next um, couple of months in terms of the other two events. Uh, we have someone running around with a mic, but we got a hand up there. Hi, I'm Berlin from the Star newspaper. I have a question for Melinda. Uh, you said that you aim to preserve heritage by pushing the boundaries of traditional craftsmanship. Within that context, do you think that it's possible to go too far? And you know, how do you find a balance between innovation but yet preserving the spirit of heritage? By the year, right, you are seeing this echo is quite. Yeah, my question is how do you find the balance between innovation and yet still preserving the spirit of heritage? Um, I, I believe uh, basically for me, the younger generation, uh, perhaps they are chasing the new technology, fast movement of, you know, uh, digital, digital art and stuff like that. Uh, if we can, that's the reason why uh, in this project, I'm trying to to show the, especially the younger generation that you can use a very modern piece of art and, and by using traditional te te technique or medias to make, you know, this piece and encourage you to wear them more. And, and I believe that if you make something fun, you know, young and trendy, they will probably, you know, think about, you know, really encourage you to wear more often. Because so get if you ask the younger generation, they only think it's for wedding, it's for something only, and not nothing else. Oh, wait, eh. oh, what? Uh, or they just don't know what it is. Personally, once before, like I like did this, I didn't really know a lot about uh, traditional crafts in general, and once like. I, I don't think I even knew what was okay. I just caught it he, he, here and there because of my mom, but I never actually knew what it was. So now I, can, I know what it is and I know how to make it and like the process. And yeah, yeah. See, it has inspired uh, Maya, for example. So it's, it's a great step to show the younger generation. Hence, that's the reason why we want to have an exhibition because we want to show, we want to invite schools, we want to invite, you know, basically anyone who loves craft and, you know, want to see how we transform this, this, this you know, uh, doodle art into the traditional material. I think that's a great way to encourage to, to use traditional uh, technique to create, you know, uh, what they want to create, you know, uh, uh, inspiring them. And, and I think this, in this process, I actually got inspired and learned a lot you know, from, from my own daughter and also, you know, all these problems. Did that answer your question? Okay, um, next question. Um, hi, this question is for Maya and also for Melinda. Right, for Maya. Um, how was it, Maya, working with your mom as an artist, right, and as a designer? What were some of the interesting points, like when you went to Sarawak, that caught your attention? What was it like working with your mother? Was she nice? Was she horrible? Was it creative? Was it fun? <laughs> it was very interesting to work with my mom because I've never done anything like this before. I think it made us a little bit more closer, especially. Uh, 
yeah, definitely make us closer together and made us definitely a lot closer. And, and it was very interesting to see uh, more of my mom's side. I'm, I'm very used to like observing what my mom did instead of actually like putting my input and like being a part of it. Oh. 